Well, hello, fishy folks. Welcome back to Michael's Fish Room. Today's video, two product reviews for you and either your fish room or wherever you keep your aquariums, whether you have one or multiple, both these products you can use. So, grab yourself a healthy snack and beverage and stand by. Alright fishy folks, before I get started uh, in this great video, I would love to wish a subscriber of mine, Phil, a happy birthday. Phil, your wife contacted me and asked if I'd give you a shout out, so happy birthday. I hope you have a great day, and I hope you enjoy whatever presents you get. Perhaps a Michael's Fish Room gift card, I'm just saying, it's possible. Alright folks, also before we get started, you know the drill. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. If you had hit that subscribe button, go ahead and boop the notification bell. And check out my website, Michael's Fish Room. Tomorrow, if you're watching this on Saturday, is the Lehigh Valley Aquarium Swap Meet. I am super excited. My boy Keith from KGE Aquatics will be there with basically his whole store. Everything you could need for your, uh, your, your hobby. He probably carries, including great plants. He has the best wood in the business. And, uh, you know, he carries Fritz. He carries Dr. Basilier's, which let me tell you, he sent me that Dr. Basilier's fry food. I love it. I really do. I've been feeding it exclusively in one tank to check it out. And the fry have doubled in growth faster than most other foods. So, I, big supporter of this Dr. Basilier's fry food. So, take a look. Speaking of food... Uh, Michael's Fish Room has a new sponsor. That's right, folks. Excalibur Flower Horn Foods. Link down below. This is a complete plug, folks. So take it for that. I used to use Excalibur Food for Chewy. Rest in peace, Chewy. And uh, when I got this new flower horn, I didn't really have any food for him. And I reached out to the owner, Ian, of Excalibur. I said, hey, you know I love your food. I'd love for you to sponsor my new flower horn yet to be named. What do you think? He's like, I got you. So, like a day later, the whole Excalibur line showed up. I got the Excalibur Premium Ingredient Food. Promotes vivid colors, increased head growth, and defined pearls. We got the Intense Red, which, you know, helps the reds come out. We got the Mass Effect for a ginormous cock. And the Diamond Dust. For all the whiteness. Uh, I loved the Excalibur food when um, I had it before. And uh, I'm glad that, that Ian, the owner of Excalibur, agreed that it, we would have a great partnership. So uh, that's what I'm going to be exclusively feeding. Maybe some live snails and of course some cold guppies. But uh, that's all that this guy's going to get. By the way, I have decided on a name, but that's for another video. Alright, today's video... We're going to be do two product reviews. The first review is something that uh, I got at a lightning deal. Um, I'll put links down below. They are affiliate links. You click them. I make millions of tenths of pennies uh, whether you buy this or something else. So, guys, if you want to support the channel but you don't want to buy a shirt, you don't want to buy fish for whatever reason, click one of my links and then go shopping on Amazon. I make money that way too, guys. Okay? But... This is the Govi water detector, and it's Wi-Fi enabled. Now, I haven't opened this. You know, when I do a review, this is, this is real life, right? This is how you would open it, is exactly how I would open it. None of the pre-planned, this is how everything works, it's perfect. These companies did not ship this to me. These, I bought these with my own shekels, and, uh, well, you guys help me, but you know what I'm saying. And, uh, so, this is a real review. Like, like there's, there's no paid stuff here anyway. This is a water detector with Wi-Fi gateway. It is a China water detector, and if that offends you, snowflakes, I don't really care. So let's open it. And yes, the argument is, but, but Mike, everything is made in China nowadays. Yes, that's right, it is, but this is like, you know, really China. What does that mean? I don't care. I don't know. I don't care. Thanks for choosing Govi. All right, folks. First, there's a card. If you like it, share it. If you don't, let us know. Then the user manual, which English is probably funny. And then we have, uh, I guess, the actual remote or uh, detector. 
And, uh, wow, I didn't realize that had to be plugged in. All right. I guess this is the Wi-Fi gateway. That makes sense, because it has its own gateway. You don't need, uh, um, no, <clears throat> no instructions, by the way. Oh. You don't need uh, to, to plug this in or to, to hook it up to um, uh, Alexa or Google Home or anything, so. I'm having trouble connecting to the internet. Take a look at the help section in your Alexa app. Alexa, you're a crackhead. I didn't even, uh, I did mention your name, I guess. I guess I'm the crackhead. Anyway, that's the alarm. But what's cool about this is you can sync it to your phone. So if there's a water alarm, you'll get an email or a text message or something. So, folks, here's what I'm going to do. I am going to stop the camera right now. And I am going to download the app because I forgot to download the app ahead of time. And then uh, we'll plug it in and see how it works. Stand by. All right, Fishy folks. took about 10 minutes to set up. Uh, basically, you set, you tell it uh, what network to use. It only uses 2.5. Sorry, 2.4 gigahertz, not the new 5 gigahertz band. So most routers now are dual band, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, but basically you plug in the, essentially it's a hotspot. Then you connect it to your phone, and then it's connected to your network through your phone. So uh, not really a big deal. Now, uh, I have tested it because I wanted to see how it worked. It's pretty simple. This is the sensor. And you can put it uh, like this, and it, it senses water from the bottom from these little prongs or from water from these two prongs up here. So um, I guess it's just easiest to show you how it works. So stand by. All right, Fishy folks, that's the sensor. Let's spill some water. That's not bad. And then I got an alert on my... I got an alert on my watch and on my phone. So that's not too bad, right, folks? Now, the alarm really isn't that loud, to be honest. So you kind of you kind of need it hooked up to your phone. So uh, I think this thing was about 20 bucks. And to be honest, it's really not a bad deal. Because, um, you know, if you have something overflowing... Like, if you're one of those people that overflows tanks all the time, uh, I suggest you buy this because it'll tell you ahead of time, by ahead of time, as soon as water hits the floor. I mean, it, it's pretty fast. All right, what was that? Two or three seconds? That's not bad. And then we get another alarm, another alert on the phone. So, all right, fishy folks, I'm going to reposition the camera and talk about the next item. Again, this is the Govi. Uh, water sensor. Uh, there will be an Amazon affiliate link down below, as well as the next item, as well as the uh, uh, flower horn food, the Excalibur, which I love. Stand by. All right, fishy folks, that was the Govi water sensor. Not a bad old thing. Like I said, about 20 bucks on Amazon. Uh, I think I paid 16 for the lightning deal, but like I said, put a link down below. Help support the channel. Click that link. Buy whatever you normally buy on Amazon, and that certainly helps. All right, the next thing I have is this Vivio Sun submersible water pump, 24 watt, 3,000 liters per hour, 800 gallons per hour. This also was a uh, lightning purchase, you know, a lightning buy on Amazon. I love those lightning buys. Um, I forget how much this was. I'll take a look in a minute. Anyway, uh, this has been on my workbench for a couple weeks. Some of you guys saw it. Some of you guys mentioned you use... Uh, like Guppy Boy said, he uses their heaters, so a uh, shout out to my boy Guppy Boy out in California. Um, this pump is carefully inspected and tested to ensure both safety and operating performance. However, failure to follow the instructions and warnings in this manual may result in pump damage and or serious injury. Be sure to read and save this manual for future reference. Yeah. Okay. Comes with a few different adapters. I think there's three in here. We got some suction cuppies. Just gonna stick those to the glass for now. Four suction cuppies. And folks, you have to call them suction cuppies, okay? That's, that's just how it works. And then, 
Those are probably the feet now that I think about it. We got one about this size, one about this size, one about this size. Now, one thing I hate about cheap pumps are is a small, yeah, they are the feet, is a, a short extension cord. So, first things first, the, the, the wire thickness is pretty, pretty slim. Now, maybe it's not going to draw too much current because it's only 800 gallons per hour. But what if it gets clogged and it's drawing more current than it should? This could get hot. Just, just putting it out there. This, not long enough. Already, not loving this thing. But, you know, what are you going to do? I dropped one of the suction cuppies, which are really the feet. I was trying to think, why would there be a suction cup? But they're their feet. So, we'll install those. Talks amongst yourself. Uh, if you're interested in my hand, we still don't have a diagnosis. I went for an MRI last night, and uh, unfortunately we had to cancel because they said, have you ever had metal in your eye? Yes, I have. When? I don't know, 15 years ago when I was an auto technician? Has it ever been cleared? I think so. Not good enough for the MRI tech, which is fine with me. I don't want metal being ripped out of my eye because MRI, big magnet. So I have to go get an x-ray, and then an MRI, which will be Tuesday next week. So, that's the update, folks. Alright, I've already ripped one of these suction cuppies installing it. Uh, that's the second one I ripped, so not happy about that. Not happy about the wire, not happy about anything. Uh, it does have this fancy little, you know, thingy thing. Alright. Um... Grab some, some hose, see what size we need. This size? Nope. This size? Yeah, that'll work. All right, normally what you would do is probably put some Teflon tape on here to seal it. Uh, I'm not gonna do that because I probably won't be using this for very long. In addition, it's gonna be in water we're going to open the, the thing all the way. Now, here's what I'm going to do, folks. I'm going to fill a bucket with water, put this in the bucket, and see how fast the water goes and if I can get it up just small length of hose, which is the head height. Uh, where's the box? I don't know what I did with the box, folks. Because I'm sure the box... There it is. Stand by. Usually it tells you head height. Head height is... Um, doesn't tell you head height. Interesting. Maybe those instructions do. Uh, head height basically is the height it'll pump from as low it'll go to as high as it'll go. So um, this might be an 800 gallon per hour pump, but at one foot head height. So, you know, this high, that's how much it'll pump. Well, that's useless. Uh, but at four feet, it might only be 100 gallon per hour or something to that effect. So, let me set up my demo station, refill your healthy snack and beverage, and please let me know in the comments below what said healthy snack and said healthy beverage are. Stand by. All right, fishing folks, I know you're uh, crushed. You're not seeing my pretty face right now, but this is the simplest test I could come up with. Not high tech. Very unscientific, but kind of real world, right? So, five gallon bucket, I don't know, four gallons, three and a half gallons of water in it. I have a little extra drain hose I have here into another five gallon bucket. We, we will plug it in, see what happens. Pumping out pretty fast. That's pretty good. All right, stand by. I'm gonna plug it. I'm gonna put it, uh, Grab a fancy dandy uh, doodad. What'd you call that? Spring clamp? Spring clamp? Spring clamp it up to the new flower horns tank. Right, so what's that? I don't know. Do I have a, I don't, I don't have a, a measure or a tape measure. I thought I did right here, I know. What is that, four feet? Four and a half feet, let's see. Let's see. Spilling water, so that's good. It's coming out pretty fast. I'm actually impressed. 
All right, folks. You probably want to see it though, don't you? You don't believe me, because, you know, why would I be honest and stuff? Stand by. All right, fishy folks, here we go. Plugging it in. Not as fast, but still decent. How about if we go higher? We can't go higher. I can go that high. That's not too bad. I spilled some water on the floor. The water alarm is going to go off. It's like I planned it, but I really didn't, I swear. So pumping wise, this thing is pretty decent. And now we're out of water. All right, stand by. All right, fishy folks, I have a new test. Fill the five gallon bucket up, about the same amount. Have about 10 feet of hose. I have it going up to one of my top tanks. Let's plug it in and see how it does. Pretty good, pretty good. You wanna see? Not super awesome, but but decent. This is a, uh, a uh, purple grass tank uh, with guppies, obviously. But yeah, that's not too bad. All right, moving on, new test. All right, I was gonna try to figure out another test to do, but I don't really have one. I can't go any higher, and that's the only thing I could test. Uh, length doesn't matter as much as height, and it, it pumped pretty well going up there, so it would pump pretty good going the length of the hose. Um, so this is the Vivo Sun submersible water pump, 800 gallons per hour for all you non-Americans, 3,000 liters per hour. 24 watt pros, small, cheap, probably would do a decent job for one or two, you know, tanks to change water. Um, cons, I don't like the thin wire for the plug and the short plug. Um, and I ripped two of the uh, suction cuppies for the feet, putting them in. Could be my fault. Maybe it's not my fault. The point is, most people don't read instructions and they just start. And that's just how, how it is in real life. So all you people are like, well, well Mike, you didn't follow the directions. Most people don't, so suck it. Um, Vivo Sun submersible water pump, link down below. And the Govi water detector. That's definitely a, a, a must buy for me, I think. I, I think I'm gonna highly recommend that. This, not terrible, let me put it that way. It was cheap, I mean, I think it was less than 20 bucks. Might've been less than 15. Put a link down below, like I said, you can check it out. But, uh, you know, for for an extra pump in the fish room or doing water changes, if you, uh, you, know, if you don't wanna use buckets, which I don't recommend anyone use buckets because that's silly, unless you want to lift weight, then maybe. Um, but if you... She's a crackhead. Anyway, as I was saying before she interrupted me, I can't even say her name. Uh, if you don't want to use buckets to change water, I recommend using a pump. I did that video, I'll put a link up here to that video a long time ago. Uh, but it's just it just makes sense to me. Uh, an extension cord and a small pump like this with some tubing, boom, you're good to go. Uh, for that, I don't think it's too bad. I mean, it's not the fastest pump, but that's okay for the price. So check it out, guys. Click those links, buy lots of stuff, and uh, I hope my buddy Phil has a great birthday. And that does it for me. Check out my website. If you're going to the uh, Lehigh Valley Aquarium Society swap meet tomorrow, do me a favor, stop by, say hello. And uh, bring me food, because there's going to be no food there, so i got to bring snacks. So Lucas and I will be there. I'll be right next to my boy Keith. Bring us food. Maybe we'll do tricks for you. Maybe not. See ya. Like a day later, the whole flower horn line showed up. We got the intense red. We got the regular Excalibur. Not flower horn line. That would be Excalibur line. Oof. I was like... I don't, I don't even know what I was like. All right, fishy folks, I have a new test. I have about 10 feet of, uh... nope, that's the wrong one. Well, hello, fishy 
Fishy folks and welcome back to Michael's Fish Room. Today, two product reviews from me. Honest reviews. Grab yourself a healthy snack. I hate it when I get mush mouth. Hi, hi Indy. Oh man, Indy came. Come here. Do you want to say hi? Do you want to say hi? No? He doesn't want to say hi. <laughs> this is the Govi um, water. I don't. I don't even know what it's called. Yeah, 